Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you saw the other video, but in case you didn't, I recently took the Google Educator Level 1 certification exam with no practice. Now, spoiler alert, I did pass because I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't pass. <laughs> but if you are curious whether I passed on the first try or not, or you just want to see my experience and my best recommendations for taking the level one certification exam, go back and watch that video. I will have it linked for you down in the description box. But today we are stepping it up or rather leveling it up. <laughs> we are going to take the Google Educator Level 2 certification exam and again we are doing it with no practice. I said this in the first one but I'm going to say it again. I'm nervous and I think I'm even more nervous for this one because the level one exam wasn't difficult, but there were still questions where I kind of wasn't 100% sure and had to go back and check over my answers. Knowing that this one is harder because it's level two makes me more nervous. And just like I said in the first one, I feel like y'all are gonna have trust issues with me. Ooh, the sun is coming out. Maybe that's a good sign if I don't pass. But positive thinking, we're gonna do the best that we can. <laughs> No laughing, no comments, just positive energy. I have no idea if this exam is structured the same as the level one. I kind of assume that they are similar. They have the same time limit, which is three hours. But the first exam was 35 questions and it took me about 22 minutes. I don't know if this one is the same length or if it's longer or if the question types are different but we're gonna find out together. The first step is to register for the exam. So I'm gonna take you through that process just so you can see what you have to do if you're wanting to take the exam yourself. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn on do not disturb because I do not need any distractions. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to search Google Educator Level 2 Certification Exam. All right. Educator Level 2 Teacher Center, we're gonna click. Okay, so we're gonna take the certification exam. Now, worth noting, this one cost $25, whereas the first exam was $10. So it's a little bit more of an investment. This is why I really wanna pass on the first try. But we're gonna click Register. Select your language, English. Okay, so I already have an account because I created that in the first video. So if you're curious on that, make sure you go back and watch that one. But I'm gonna click on register for an exam for educators. And obviously I no longer have the option for level one because I've already passed that one. So now I'm going to buy the level two. I do not have a coupon or voucher code. I'm gonna click check out. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna enter in my credit card information and then hopefully this time I get the email quickly. So what happens after you register is they will send you an email with the link you need to actually take the exam. And if you saw my level one video, I don't know what happened, but I never got that email and I had to reach out to Google support. So I have no idea how quickly that email is supposed to come after you register, but I will check back in and let you know once I have gotten it. It has been about 25 minutes, but I just got the email and I'm excited to take the exam. Excited? Nervous? I don't know, one or the other, maybe both. But my biggest takeaways from the level one exam were to slow down and just read every question and answer very carefully. Calm down. No, you calm down. Because there were times where it would ask me to select three answers and two were super obvious. And the third one, I was like, Ugh, I'm not sure. And then going off of that, I would mark those questions for review. So at the end, I made sure I went back to them just to double check. Most of them, I don't think I changed my answer. I went with my gut instinct, but I think it's always good just to have another peek at them before you submit your answers. But I will check in with you after and obviously let you know how it went. Ironically, just like the first one, I have not eaten breakfast, although this time I also have not had coffee. <laughs> so we'll see if that hinders my success at all. But otherwise, wish me luck. 
I'm actually shocked to say that I passed. <laughs> Maybe shocked is too harsh of a word, but I was a little skeptical. You know, there were some questions where I was like, ugh, I don't know about that. But the actual format of the exam was almost identical to the level one exam. So 35 questions, you have 180 minutes or three hours to complete it. I finished in 20 minutes, which was actually a little bit faster than the level one exam. Maybe because I had seen those question types on the level one, so I was less like blind going into it. But speaking of question types, it was just like level one where there were multiple choice, multi-select where you're choosing anywhere from like two to five different answer choices, and then drag and drop where you're categorizing things or sorting things and putting them in order. In terms of the difficulty, honestly, I almost felt like this one was a little bit more up my alley, if that makes sense, because it was more application based. So like ways you can use Google Slides, ways you can use Google Forms. Whereas the level one, I almost feel like it was more kind of specific details of like, when you click on this, what are the options that you have? But that's just my interpretation. So if you have also taken both, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. If you are wanting to take the level two certification exam and you don't wanna risk it for the biscuit like me and just go into it blind with no practice, because again, it does cost $25 each time you take it. And if you do not pass the first time, you have to wait I'm assuming it's like the level one where I was looking at it. You had to wait three days if you fail it once, then you can retake it. If you fail again, you have to wait, I think it's seven days and then like 14 days. So the amount of time in between increases each time. But if you are wanting to be more confident going in, there is a free training on the Google website. So let me show you that. Now, obviously I do suggest taking the level one certification exam before jumping into level two. If you are wanting to prepare for the level one certification exam, there is this fundamentals training. But once you're ready for level two, you're gonna use the advanced training. Now, I did not go through this prior to taking the exam and I was still able to pass, but if you are wanting to kind of get an idea of what the questions will be like, check this out. I looked through some of the questions after taking the exam, and again, they're very similar. They're not exactly the same, but it at least will give you an idea of what to expect. You can log into your Google account and it will save your progress and the notes that you take, but you can also access this without logging into your Google account. It is organized by unit and within each unit there are several different lessons. If you click on a lesson, you'll find text, videos, there's some links to other things to check out, input from other teachers, etc. But what I think is the most valuable part of the trainings is the lesson check at the end. It has just a few kind of sample practice questions that you can answer. So if you are short on time, don't tell Google I said this, but my recommendation would be to go through each lesson and just answer the questions at the end. If you struggle with them, of course, you can go back and actually read through the lesson, but it will give you an idea of what information you already know versus where those gaps are that maybe you need to try to fill in before taking the exam. But I will link both the fundamentals training and the advanced training down in the description box if you are wanting to check those out prior to taking the exam. But that's gonna wrap up this video. I'm gonna go celebrate with a cup of coffee. <laughs> the boss needs his coffee. If you have any questions about taking the Google Educator Level 1 or Level 2 certification exams, leave a comment, let me know. I can't guarantee that I will know the answer, but I can at least, you know, guide you in the right direction to help you find the answer. But if there are other certification type exams that are technology related that y'all think I should take, also leave a comment and let me know because 
I'm on a roll here. I'm enjoying this whole taking exams, getting certified process. If you enjoyed seeing the behind the scenes, give the video a thumbs up, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.